Hello guys, as promised, I'm going to show you the science fiction Marvel slash DC Universe section. Over here, I have a couple of movies that I couldn't fit anywhere else. Here I have the Spider-Man 67 collection. This is a little harder to find. I have Superman 1941-42, this is the Max Fleischer collection. The Superman animated series, the Batman animated series. I'm missing the um, the fourth one. I only have the first three. I'll eventually get it. I have Batman Mask of the Phantasm, Batman and Mr. Freeze. I have here Batman the Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and 2. Here I have Batman Return of the Joker. Excuse me, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. Batman Mystery of the Batwoman. And this is a Batman triple feature. This one brings... Batman Gotham Knights, Batman Under the Red Hood, and Batman Year One. Here I have the first two seasons of Batman Beyond. Hold on one second. There we go. On the top, oh, that's a drawing I got a couple of years back of Blade Runner. Buck Rogers, the complete uh, series. This is the um, this is the 1970s version. This one I got at a pawn shop for a pretty decent price. Below I have Jinro. That's a pretty pretty good um, anime. I'm not a huge fan of anime, but that's uh, this was recommended to me by a friend. Very very good. Here I have uh, what's this? What is this? What mystery lies here? This is. 20 million miles to Earth, and it came from beneath the sea. $7.99 at Best Buy. Here I have The Quick and the Dead, Bite the Bullet, Eerie Indiana, and this is all Doctor Who. Spider Man, the Japanese Spider Man, where he has a freaking Megazord. Uh, the 1970 Spider-Man, the complete series. I got these two at a convention a couple of years back. Fantastic Four, the animated series. The X-Men uh, collection. This is volume 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is from the 90s animated series. Here I have Blade Runner. This is uh, an HD DVD combo pack. It brings uh, a couple of um, pictures, figurines, and it brings all the additions. Unfortunately, I no longer have an HD DVD player, but I have it for collecting sake. At the top, I have Goldeneye on Laserdisc. I also don't have a Laserdisc player, but I'm a huge James Bond fan. And over there is Superman. A friend of mine was upset that I put Superman on top of the Batman uh, DVDs. Uh, eventually, I want to get uh, the Batman uh, figurine. I'll put it right next to Superman. And here we continue. Hell on Wheel Season 1 and 2. The Odyssey, Dragon Ball Z, those are the movies, it brings I think 15 of the movies. Over here we have Young Indiana Jones 1, 2, and 3, these are the three volumes of the TV series. Indiana Jones on Blu-ray, we'll pretend the fourth one never happened. <laughs> I'm kidding, I actually have grown uh, a liking to the fourth film. I don't know what it is, um, the only thing I don't like about the fourth film is the last 20 minutes of the movie. The rest is not as bad as everyone says. Star Trek The Next Generation, the first season, and the second season. Uh, hopefully sometime soon I'll get the rest of the series. Here I have a couple of martial arts movies and westerns. So let's go over here. Here I have, all the way over there, Avatar, the three disc edition. Here we have the very disappointing Prometheus. Um, this movie I saw in theaters, I've rewatched it a couple of times on Blu-ray. It's not horrible, but it is very disappointing when you compare it to the original Alien. Speaking of Alien, here is the Alien Anthology on Blu-ray. This brings both the theatrical and special editions of all the films. Here I have Predator. Get to the chopper! Come here! I'm here! Kill me now! <laughs> great, great movie. Um, this is um, the version that you should obtain. Do not get the Ultimate Hunter Edition. 
they used a lot of digital noise reduction on that edition. So refrain from that edition, try to find this version. And here we have Predator 2. Um, this is an underrated sequel. I like it just as much as the first one. I actually saw the second one before seeing the first one, so I have a special liking to part two. AVP. This brings both the theatrical and the unrated version. The only difference between the theatrical and the unrated is there's a different opening sequence and the rest is just CGI blood that they added. Not a great movie. Uh, a lot of like, it's not terrible, but it's very mediocre, I'll admit. Um, especially the ending where you have the predator helping the girl. And, you know, it's a, a Paul, Paul W.S. Anderson film, so. This one is, however, this one, however, is terrible. AVP Requiem. The, I don't know who they hired to, hired to do the lighting on this film, but it's not very good. Um, I have it because I'm a completist, but it's um, not a very good movie. Predators. This one I actually enjoyed. The only thing I didn't like very much is Topher Grace. He almost, almost killed the experience of this movie. However, it's still enjoyable. I liked um, Adrian Brody in the movie. Ian Flux with uh, Charlie Theron. Alien Apocalypse. I've uh, never seen it, but I am a fan of Bruce Campbell, so... Here we have, let's see what this is, Absalon. This is a really cheesy sci-fi film. This was made for the Sci-Fi Channel a couple of years ago. It's with Christopher Lambert, Lou Diamond Phillips, and Kelly Brook. Um, yeah. Here we have, let's see, The Abyss. To this day, I still have not seen this movie. I heard it's really good. It's a James Cameron movie. Here we have After Earth. A lot of people hate this movie, and I won't lie, it's not very good, but it's not as terrible as everyone says. The problem with this movie is that Jane Smith and Will Smith don't have much chemistry. Curious enough, they're both you know, father and son, and they don't have chemistry on screen as much as they did in Pursuit of Happiness. But um, it's not a terrible movie, it's a little slow, I'll admit, it's very, very... It's actually very slow, but um, it has certain aspects that I did enjoy, you know, the bonding between the father and the son, even though it wasn't completely well realized. But, you know, it's M. Night Shyamalan. He's fallen from grace. Give him a break. Uh, Another Earth. Great uh, sci-fi film. Some people will consider this a drama, but I put it under sci-fi. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Armageddon. To this day, the ending still makes me cry. <laughs> the Arrival and The Arrival 2. I've only seen the first one. It's with um, Charlie Sheen. Pretty cool film. Give me one quick second. As I was saying, here I have Automata, which is with Antonio Banderas. Haven't seen it yet. Back to the Future Trilogy. Great films. Battle of Los Angeles. Not a very good movie. Very mediocre, to be honest with you. But, you know, got this one for like $4.99 when Blockbuster was closing down. Bicentennial Man with Robin Williams. I love this movie. Sad that we lost him this year. Battleship or Transformers 3.5, as I like to call it. That was an okay movie. Barbarella, Queen of the Galaxy. It's an okay movie. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually pretty corny. <laughs> Being John Malkovich. The Box. Brazil. Branded. This movie, you know, um, I saw it in theaters. Didn't like it very much. I've grown a liking to it, even though it's pretty bizarre. And all the way over there I have Book of Eli. Here we have, all the way over there, Beowulf, Beastmaster, love Beastmaster, Chronicle, The Cell, Chain Reaction, Children of Men, uh, Clockwork Orange in the Digi Book, Cloud Atlas, Cowboys and Aliens, 
Contact, The Core, The Cube Trilogy, The Day After, Dante's Peak, Dark City, uh, The Day After Tomorrow, Deep Star Six, Deep Impact, Demolition Man, Deja Vu, District 9, Doomsday, Dreamscape. This movie, you know, if you've seen Inception, you'll notice that they have a uh, certain similarity, uh, Dreamscape and Inception. Got this for $1.99 at a uh, movie stop. Judge Dread, Dread. I would love to see a sequel of Dread. I don't know if it will happen, but I would love to see a sequel of Dread. And I also like the original with uh, uh, Stallone. You know, I am the law! Uh, Dune, Children of Dune, Escape from New York, and all the way over there, you can't really see it, is Escape from LA. Sometimes it should be hidden and best forgotten. And here we have Elysium. Over there I have E.T. Equilibrium, great Christian Bale sci-fi action flick. Event Horizon. Ender's Game. Control Factor, Fifth Element on Superbit, The Fly, the original Fly Trilogy, means The Fly, Return of the Fly, and The Curse of the Fly. The Fly Remake, which to me is superior than the original. Not to say that the original isn't bad, but I really like this version. The Fly 2, which I don't know why they haven't released this one on Blu-ray. The Fountain. Frequency, Forbidden Planet, Fortress, Fortress 2, Gamer, here we have, uh, let's see what we have here, Gotica, Ghost of Mars, this is a Godzilla collection, brings three Godzilla movies, Gamera, 11 movies, Destroy All Monsters, Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster, Godzilla vs. Magalon, King Kong vs. Godzilla, Godzilla vs. Megagyrus, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, and over there's Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. Uh, the Dark Crystal, Godzilla 1984, Godzilla Double Feature, which brings Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, one of my favorites, Godzilla vs. Mothra, Battle for Earth, Godzilla vs. Destroya, and Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. Godzilla vs. Biollante, Godzilla vs. Hedora, Godzilla 2000, <gasps> Godzilla Tokyo SOS, Godzilla Final Wars, the dreadful 1998 Godzilla, and the 2014 Godzilla. Gojira, Godzilla Raids Again, Invasion of the Astro Monster, Ghidorah, and this one is Monsters Attack. Okay, here we have The Giver, The Giver 2. The Giver 2 is actually better than the original, in my opinion. Gravity, Hollow Man, Hollow Man 2, The Host, Inception, Independence Day, In Time, Invaders from Mars, I Am Number 4, I Am Legend, Imposter, I Robot, The Island, and all the way over there is The Island of Dr. Moreau. Here I have, let's see, uh, The Island of Dr. Moreau remake. This is a uh, jumper. Johnny Mnemonic, which is extremely dated, <laughs> but it's still enjoyable. King Kong, uh, Edge of Tomorrow, also known as Live, Die, Repeat, Earthquake, uh, here we have King Kong Escapes, King Kong Lives, King Kong the, the Remake, King Kong the Other Remake, uh, this is a double feature. This is a double feature which is kind of like a ripoff of King Kong called Conga. Knowing Laser Mission. I just got it because of Tracy Lords. Last Airbender. Yeah, let's forget about that movie. Left Behind Trilogy. The Lawnmower Man. Here we have Last Days on Mars. Lockout. Looper. Lost in Space, Logan's Run, The Mad Max Trilogy, Masters of the Universe, Super Mario Bros, The Ultimate Matrix Collection, Meteor, and I have here a couple of versions of the movie Metropolis. 
Men in Black, Men in Black 2, Men in Black 3. I can't believe they want to do a crossover between Men in Black and uh, 22 Jump Street. Merlin, Minority Report, Moon, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, Next, Oblivion, Outland, it's Sean Connery in space. Omega Man, The One, One Million Years BC, Outlander, Pacific Rim, Pandorum, Paycheck, The Original, Planet of the Apes Collection, The Planet of the Apes Remake with Mark Wahlberg, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and I have a space here for um, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I'll let someone borrow that one. Priest, Push, Real Steel, and Replicant. Uh, the Road, and this is a sci-fi collection, brings 20 cheesy, most public, mostly public domain movies. Over there I have Race to Witch Mountain, uh, Robot and Frank, let me see what's here, uh, Robot Jocks, the Robocop trilogy, the remake of Robocop, which I actually enjoyed, Red Planet, uh, Reign of Fire, Returner, Pitch Black, Chronicles of Riddick, Riddick, R.I.P.D., Riverworld, The Original Riverworld, Rollerball, Running Man, Scanners, Scanners 2 and Scanners 3, Screamers, a 50 sci-fi pack, which brings, again, mostly public domain movies, Short Circuit, Short Circuit 2, Silent Running, The Sixth Day, Skyline. And all the way over there is Soldier. Uh, Sky Captain in the World Tomorrow, Solaris, Source Code, Sorcerer's Apprentice, The Sliders TV series, Jurassic Park Trilogy, and it will maintain itself as a trilogy in my mind because I don't think Jurassic World might be that good. But you never know. Uh, the Star Trek original series, the Star Trek movie collection, and over here I have the Star Trek movies from J.J. Abrams. The Star Wars limited edition DVD. This brings the unaltered versions of Star Wars before George Lucas went crazy and started adding a whole bunch of unnecessary CGI effects. Star Wars on Blu-ray, which brings all six films. Stranded, Stealth, Splice, Sphere, The Species Collection, Sunshine, Starship Troopers the Trilogy, day, The Day the Earth Stood Still, Firefly, Serenity, Snowpiercer, Starman, Stargate, Final Fantasy, Super 8, 12 Monkeys, Solo, 13th Floor, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, The Tron Double Feature, Time Machine, Total Recall, and the Total Recall Remake, which was not very good to be honest. Taken, not the movie with Liam Neeson, but the TV series from Steven Spielberg. Uh, Super Hybrid, Surrogates, the Terminator collection, which I will not be getting Terminator Genesis. From the trailer, I don't think it's going to be very good. But again, you never know. When Time Ran Out, Ticking Clock, uh, Terminal Invasion. This is a great Bruce Campbell movie. If you've never seen it, check it out. It's kind of like The Thing. Actually, it's very much like the thing. Uh, Timeline, The Tomorrow Man, Terminal Man, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, The Time Machine, Transfers, The Collection. This brings, I think, all five or six of those movies. Uh, yeah, five. Transcendence, or as I like to call it, The Lawnmower Man Unofficial Remake. Transformers, Transformers... One, two, three, and yes, I have the dreadful fourth one. Again, I'm a completist. Don't judge me. 2001, 2010, 2012, Ultraviolet, Universal Soldier 1. This is the one that I considered part two, not the one with Bill Goldberg. Um, part three is over here, and all the way over there is Virtuosity with Russell Crowe and Denzel Washington. Here I have Dragon Warrior with JDF. Jason David Frank from Power Rangers, Videodrome, which is the Criterion Collection, Dragon Wars, and V for Vendetta. Over here, I have more stuff. War of the Worlds, Waterworld, Westworld, Future World, War Games and War Games 2, 
uh, Witness to the Protection, that's a movie with um, Sean Young from Blade Runner, Zardos with Sean Connery, Dark Angel, which is which is also known as, hold on, here it is, I Come in Peace, I love this movie, Soil and Green, Fantastic Four, Double Feature, Dark Man, Hellboy, Hellboy 2, The Spirit, Black Scorpion, Black Scorpion 2, Blood Rain Trilogy, Batman and Robin, the 1949 series, Batman the Movie, Batman Anthology. I don't care what anybody says, but Batman and Robin, Batman and Robin is actually pretty funny and enjoyable. I used to love it as a kid. Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, okay. Here I have a couple of more Marvel movies. I have Catwoman, Birds of Prey, Spawn, Blade, Blade 2, Blade Trinity, The Mark of Zorro, the remake of The Mark of Zorro, uh, Ninja Turtles Trilogy, Zorro, The Mask of Zorro, Legend of Zorro, Phantom, Shadow, The Rocketeer, The Crow, The Crow City of Angels, Hancock, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Jonah Hex, Dick Tracy, Watchmen, Green Hornet, Daredevil theatrical version, Elektra theatrical version, uh, Daredevil director's cut, Elektra director's cut, Ghost Rider director's cut, Ghost Rider the sequel, Hulk the Ang Lee version, Punisher with Dolph Lundgren, Punisher director's cut, Punisher director's cut, and all the way over there you can't see it's Punisher Warzone. All the way down here we have uh, Green Lantern, Captain America, the two movies from the 1970s, the Roger Corman Captain America, Superman, which is the TV series from the 1940s, Spider-Man, the original tr Sam Raimi trilogy, Amazing Spider-Man 1, Amazing Spider-Man 2, the Superman Collection, Supergirl, Man of Steel, X-Men First Class, X-Men Origins Wolverine, the X-Men Trilogy, the Wolverine, and X-Men Days of Future Pass. Iron Man, Iron Man 2, The Incredible Hulk, Thor, Captain America, The Avengers, Iron Man 3, Thor, Captain America, and I just recently acquired, which I didn't mention in my update, I forgot, is Guardians of the Galaxy. And I'm leaving the space open here. Get out of here, Street Fighter. Ah, uh, you're best forgotten. Uh, the space is going to be for the upcoming Marvel movies. And here I have Lord of the Rings. Wow, was this a long video or not? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this section. Hopefully sometime soon I'll be showing you guys ah, the rest of the moving room. It's a lot of stuff that I have here. So, 